Welcome time travelers of history. Prepare yourselves for an immersive journey as we dive deep into the captivating life of Golda Meir. From her humble beginnings to her lasting impact, we're about to explore the extraordinary story of a woman whose courage, wit, and determination still resonates today. Born in 1898 in Kiev, Russia, a determined spirit named Golda Mabovich enters the world. From her earliest memories, she recalls her family barricading the door against rumors of persecution. This fear would shape her unshakable spirit. By 1906, her family relocates to Israel, the Promised Land, igniting her unwavering connection to her roots. As the 1910s dawn, Golda's passion for Israel and its people fuels her entry into the Zionist movement, advocating for a Jewish homeland. This period marks her emergence as a champion for equality and workers' rights, carving a path for her future as a liberal advocate. Fast forward to 1917, Golda marries Morris Meyerson and joins him on the Kibbutz Merkavia in Israel. Here, her commitment to socialism and creating a democratic society flourishes. Her involvement in the labor movement and founding of the Histradut Labor Union further cements her as a leading liberal figure. The 1930s and 40s see Golda's rise within the Zionist leadership. A founding member of Mapai, she champions the dream of an independent Jewish state. Her tireless efforts in fundraising during her trip to the U.S. in 1948 earn her the nickname, The Woman Who Got the Money. In 1948, Golda stands as one of the signatories of Israel's Declaration of Independence. She becomes Israel's first minister of labor, overseeing ambitious housing and infrastructure projects, which solidify her as a practical and visionary leader. The 1950s see Golda's influence spreading globally. As foreign minister, she masterfully navigates Israel's diplomatic challenges, while her initiative to aid developing countries showcases her commitment to tikkun olam, the Jewish principle of repairing the world. Amid her busy political career, Golda Meir possessed a remarkable talent for storytelling. She had a knack for engaging people with her anecdotes, often sprinkled with humor and wit. In fact, her storytelling prowess extended to her diplomatic efforts. During a tense negotiation with President Richard Nixon, Golda used her storytelling skills to break the ice and forge a connection. Sharing stories about her childhood and family, she managed to create a more relaxed atmosphere, allowing for more fruitful discussions. This blend of diplomatic finesse and relatable storytelling showcased her ability to bridge gaps through shared human experiences. The 1960s bring Golda back to Israel's forefront as the Secretary General of the Mapai Party. Despite being 70, she accepts the role of Prime Minister in 1969. Her tenure is marked by tough decisions, demonstrating her willingness to face challenges head-on. The 1970s see Golda's unwavering leadership during the Yom Kippur War, her determination and refusal to hesitate before sending Israel against Arab countries into battle stand as a testament to her deep commitment to her people's safety. However, like any leader with many aspects, Golda Meir's legacy isn't free from disagreements. Some people criticize how she encouraged the inclusion of Jewish Arabs in Israel and her approach to the Palestinian situation, where she often prioritized Israel's safety and control, leading to doubts and disagreements about recognizing the rights of Palestinians. Still, her leadership greatly influenced how Israel sees itself and its society. And there you have it, the incredible journey of Golda Meir, a woman who shattered the stereotypes. She was both a fierce Zionist and a liberal visionary, proving that commitment to one's people doesn't negate a commitment to humanity. If this immersive expedition through history has ignited your curiosity, show your love by hitting that like button, sharing with fellow history buffs, and subscribing for more captivating tales. Keep exploring. 
keep learning and keep celebrating the dynamic stories that history weaves. Stay curious, time travelers. Thank you.